Andrea and Raymond from EIS Shipping. Guys, you've had a very busy week. Tell, tell me exactly what you have been doing. Well, Emer, we've been looking after the international teams here um, for their import-export work for the Dublin Horse Show. Um, at the start of the week, we escort them up from the ferry ports to make sure they have a nice smooth journey up to the showgrounds and they don't get lost in Dublin City. Um, so during the week, we arrange all of the um, re-export paperwork for them, which is um, a bigger job than most people probably think, but um, it's a fun one. So. And there's an awful lot of work. It's it's not just shipping the horses. It, the paperwork starts long before the, the Dublin Horse Show starts. It does, yes. We, uh, it's a process of gathering the information in, in the weeks coming up to the show. Um, there, there's so many horses to be signed off, and you know, of course, the horse list changes in the weeks coming up to the show. So, it's you know, it's just updating our own inf our own databases and um, making sure we have the right information here in the office that's out on the showground as well. So, yeah. And of course, it doesn't just happen for the Dublin Horse Show. Your business is transporting horses. Raymond, just tell me a bit about that. We, we basically transfer horses anywhere in the world. We can transport anywhere. I mean, transport a lot of um, thoroughbred mares out to India every year and a lot of eventers and show drummers out to the States. So, And it's been it's been really busy lately, thankfully. It's been, it's going really well. So, And of course, it's just yourself and Andre, so you're heavily involved in the whole process. Yeah, we're both involved in the whole, literally the whole We fly with the horses ourselves. You know, We arrange all the pre-export, you know, all the paperwork. We deal with the vets to get all the blue export testing done. Um, and as I said, then we fly with them. That you can, so we do everything ourselves. It's, we enjoy that part of it because I think people actually, you know, they, they realise it's sort of a it's sort of a more personal service when we're both involved in it directly, as opposed to having loads of staff that deal with everything. So no, it's been it's been really good. So we're, we're happy with the way everything is going right now. So. And is it just show jumpers or is it adventures? Is there a mix of horses? Yeah, b actually both. Yeah, we've we've been shipping more adventures. I mean, our, our our sort of core business, I say, originally was show jumpers, but now we're starting to get more into the eventing business as well. And then we do a lot of thoroughbreds out of golf sales every year to India, but brood mares. So, and that's we. we shipped 120 last year so between two of us you can imagine how busy it is yeah so Andre there is quite a lot an awful lot of regulations with Department of Agriculture you obviously have to know what you're doing it, it's not for the faint-hearted you do. I mean, there's really, there's very little room for error in this business. If you make any mistakes whatsoever, it's quite simple. The horses just don't travel. So we just have to ensure that everything is absolutely pristine before the horses travel so that they can be presented to the vets at the port for export and that everything is um, their ship shape ready to go. So, yeah, a quite a responsible job. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I suppose it is. It's a lot of responsibility to take on, but you know, we, we know the job well. We've been doing this particular gig here at the Dublin Horse Show for several years, so um, we, we, know, we know all the bits and pieces we need to have done, you know, on certain days of the show. You know, we need to meet, meet our deadlines with the work that needs to be done here, so yeah. And of course, a huge benefit is that you have a wide knowledge of, of horses and the requirements and what, what they need for travelling. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, first and foremost, we're horse people, really. We, you know, we've grown up with horses, both of us, our whole lives. So, um, you know, we're also ATA-approved flying grooms. So at the end of the day, we're horse people first and uh, business people second. And there's very few ATA flying grooms, am I correct, in, in Ireland. Am I correct in saying that? Yeah, there are. There's very few ATA-approved grooms in Ireland. Um, there's plenty of grooms that do fly, but there is a list of um, officially approved grooms. So um, both of us are on that list. Okay, well, thank you very much for all that information and I hope you're not too tired at the end of the week. <laughs>